Hey everybody, this is Delta again, doing a short uh, gear review on the Camelback Mule. I purchased this pack about three years ago, uh, brand new from an eBay uh, seller. Um, give you a little rundown of the pack before I get started. There's some extras on here, uh, some extra uh, pouches in the front here, I'll explain that later. But From the factory, from Camelback, the pack is for uh, 540 cubic inches, its cake, its uh, capacity for its hydration is uh, up to a 100 ounce bladder. Um, of course, it's a 1000D Cordura. It's also DWR backed, and the price range is anywhere from 70 to 100 dollars. I actually purchased, like again, since I purchased through an auction about three to three and a half years ago, it only ran me about 36 bucks shipped, and that was brand new everything was brand new on it. Um, I'll go over some of the features of the pack. Of course it's got a carry handle, drag handle on top. It's got D-rings on all the shoulder straps so that way you can attach it anywhere you want. It's got channels of course to run the hydration tube on either your left or your right side strap. It's got a sternum strap that's adjustable. It also has quick disconnects at the end of each shoulder strap on both sides. Down towards the bottom here where the shoulder straps connect into is a stowable hip belt. When it really called a hip belt, it's more or less the same as a shoulder strap here with a Fastex connector in front. So it'll keep it from bouncing around on you. The back of it of course is padded and it does pretty well. Right now the pack's probably got about 20 pounds and I actually use this as my get home bag and my day hiking bag. The only thing that will change is if I use it for a day hike I might throw a couple extra energy bars in it and that's about it. On the front here these are just regular standard surplus uh, SDS molly pouches. This is a medic pouch inside there. I have my hiker water filter and a couple other uh, water related um, products and here is my first aid. Now, it's only 540 cubic inches, but it's also it holds a pretty decent amount of gear. I haven't taken anything out of it, so what I'm going to show you is actually what I carry every day. Then we'll go more. All right, the top pouch here, as you can see, it's pretty decent sized, and inside of it, we've got you know day hiking a little monocular right there. We've got a Mora. We've got some spare mags for my sidearm that's also in here too. I've got maps of the area. There's three or four of them there, plus my compass and a pen and pad in there. This is a two meter, two meter ham radio. And antenna, ex, um, earbud mics, extra connectors, and all kinds of stuff. And then down the side, just some little odds and ends. Uh, a little Ziploc bag I use for trash and if I could put, got put my cell phone in there. And of course a spare lighter. I kind of like shove little stuff like that in there. But that's just that pouch alone. So it's pretty decent size. Let's see if you can see down inside there. Now, in the front here is more like a little admin kind of pouch area. It's about the same, roughly the same size as this. So it zips. It'll zip all the way down course full size G17 and a holster G2 spare mags there's a pouch that like I said it's like pretty much like an admin I got my G2 and another spare mag that just sits right here it's got areas where you can put your you know pens or pencils if you want I've got a red LED you know uh, imitation chem light like you saw in some of the other videos some insect uh, more first aid stuff, you know, bite stingies more or less. In here, you got an area where you could probably put a GPS or a radio or whatever you wanted to. Again, I carry some, most of this is all many survival kit stuff. There's some bug spray in here. There's a, this is a fire steel, you know, down inside. There's some water purification tablets. In the back here is also another pouch. And then there I carry my, you know, my Sea to Summit Spork, which that's where the like my fire used to go for it broke you know spare batteries because sometimes I've got a headlight that uses these my camera and also I did have a uh, before the I got the G2 uh, light that uses use triple A's there's signal mirror in here there's emergency blanket 
mosquito little mosquito netting for your hands and face earplugs in case I'm at the range because I take this with me when I'm on the range too so that kind of gives you a little rundown of how much you can hold inside a pack but that's just not all of it of course it's got three rows of pals moly on the front so you can attach you know anything you you want on it on on there it's not I wouldn't go too crazy with it you access the hydration through a zipper in the side and it runs only one side to the top it's insulated on the back side with the padding and on the inside towards the pouch areas uh, again I carry more stuff just a regular head bandana this is one of my sil nylon tarps with all my guy lines and everything like you've seen in the video on how to make them and of course I keep you know cliff bars emergency and electrolyte mixes down in here and there's probably about 50 feet of 550 that I keep shoved down in the bottle along with the bladder and this is the bladder that's actually the actual comes with it it's their Camelbacks Omega with the quick dis uh, disconnects uh, the only problem I find is it's a good bladder extremely good I mean I, I change the water out in it probably only every three to four months it doesn't get gunky or slimy like any of the other ones um, the only downfall is, is the tube tube length for this size pack it's extremely long as you can see I've got it kind of looped up under and around and through everything else so but if you're looking for a day pack that's built really good it's the Camelback military mule it's not exactly uh, big but as you can see you know some of this stuff isn't you know down here during the summer I could actually you know substitute some of these items strap a shelter on the back you know back like a little lightweight uh, like a poncho liner for a sleeping bag and you're good to go um, you've used it for three and a half years usually I don't like doing gear reviews just like this for a pack sitting here but you know I want to say that it's junk it's it's probably one of the better little day packs out there so if you want something small for a get home bag or just for the day hikes meals the way to go like I said going rate pretty much right now is 70 to 100 bucks you know wherever you look um, hopefully you can still find sometimes from now and now and then they'll pop up in the 30 to 50 dollar range of course you won't really have a choice on your you know pat your camo patterns so but that's my little quick review of the camelback mule um, hopefully if you purchase one you'll be happy with it just like I have been so so check out our other videos. Head over on to uh, survivalandpreparedness.com. Uh, already there's another video up that's kind of like a teaser showing uh, for the video contest that's going on over there. Um, just all, all you have to do is sign up. Just register to become a member. You know, put in a video. A lot of cool gifts and prizes that are handed out by the site sponsor, JRH. So head on over there and check it out. And we'll see you there.